Hey there, it's Mark. Last Saturday, I attended the SoCal Hot Wheels show in South Pasadena. That's all the stuff I buy that fits in one bag. The show's going to be Sunday, this coming Sunday. This time, I'm going to have some stuff. I'm going to have a couple tables. I'm going to have stuff that nobody else has. Track sets, play sets. I will have some cars, but now that I scoped it out, I see what other people have. So I don't want to bring the same stuff. So if you want the links in the description, or at least uh, the Instagram account, if you follow that account, they're the ones that do the show. So this way, if you follow that account, you can keep up with the information. Here we have uh, all this stuff. This is all the stuff I bought. And if you guys know me, I'm trying to turn my light on. <laughs> if you guys know me, uh, I'm a bargain shopper. So I'm not going to say the prices. <laughs> I don't want to upset people. But uh, I, I don't pay a lot of money. Anyways... Treasure hunt. I did. I don't remember. I think I got this one in my case, but the one that I didn't get, somebody had it at the show. So now I had it. Oh yeah, off the pegs. I just showed this. I, I found this at Dollar Tree. So now I have two, at least two of that basic treasure hunt. When I got the case, I don't think I got that basic treasure hunt in the case. And here's another treasure hunt. This is the Dune Daddy. Uh, I don't think I got this one in my case either. They're not in every case, right? There's the Circle Flame logo on the, in the back of the card. And then on the model itself, it's supposed to have a Circle Flame logo. There you go, right there. Basic treasure hunt. Uh, they're not produced in as high quantity as regular cars. So mm, I don't want to I don't like calling them rare because there's still a lot of them. This one, they put treasure hunt right on the uh, right on the model. And then they put the Circle Flame logo right there. And again, they'll have it behind the model. I did get this one in my case, but I couldn't I couldn't pass it up at the price. Plus, I love that model, and I like Halloween, so I had to pick it up. Uh, I'm going to do, let me get, I have several of these. Let me get all these together. Oh, yeah, let's check this one out. Here you go. This is the Monster Trucks Chase, and it's supposed to have uh, the Treasure Hunt logo. They have it secretly hidden you see how it, the circle flame logo is faint in the decal right there i do not believe it's on the model uh, i don't recall anybody saying it was on the actual model but anyways love corvettes and of course you know barbie long time mattel property who who doesn't love barbie well i only have a couple but i wouldn't say i love the reason why you can't see the circle flame logo it's kind of hard to see it's behind the the uh, barbie right here it's there. It's in the middle of the rim, but not that it's a better check. Is it in there? No, it's not on the rim. So as far as I know, they don't put it on the model itself. So I know what the going rate of this model is. This truck gave the guy an offer. He goes, but I thought that truck, I thought that's popular. You know, people are saying that, uh, you know, the people that a lot of people who are there are people flipping stuff for profit. I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm just saying. So he bought it because he thought it was worth a lot of money. He was trying to get $25 for it, which is okay. That's an okay price. I made an offer. I didn't. What? Highway 35. You're not supposed to see that yet. Uh, anyways, I made an offer and he accepted. So I didn't pay $25. Uh, I have this car already, but with me doing the team transport, I have one on the package, but now I bought this one, so this one I can open it up when I do one of the team transport reviews, that it makes sense. And these, you know, these are $5.49 in the stores, so somebody had a nice price on these, so I picked them up. And people think that I don't like rubber tires. I like rubber tires, I just prefer certain ones. This one's pretty cool because, look, they put the four-leaf clover actually on the tread for Lucky Charms. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't remember if I have this one. I probably do. I did buy that one. I might. I don't think I bought this whole set, to be honest with you. Because I don't care for that. I don't care for that. I know you guys, a lot of people like that. I don't care for that. Why am I going to pay a premium price for a Hot Wheels Fantasy model? I know they gave it a metal base, but, but still. When this one was on the pegs, I passed. I even showed it to Amanda. It's a slug bug. It's green. 
it's two hits. And she said, meh, she didn't like it. She didn't like the attachment. And I didn't like it either. I didn't like the yellow. It made it obvious it was plastic. But uh, for the price that I paid for this, uh, he gave a deal because I bought uh, multiples. Uh, I almost bought that one, but I let it go. You know, I'd like to do things in the future, so some of these would like to appear in a video. This was beautiful on the pegs, but at the time it was like $5.49. I'll pass. Uh, I don't think he had that. I would have liked to have gotten that one. I think I got that one. Yeah, it's right there. Here we go. Fast and Furious. Same thing. Uh, you know, kind of particular. This looks great. And sometimes I like to have samples of the castings, but like this, mm, I like the cereal stuff. I like the candy stuff. But if, if it's one of the other things, and they like Star Wars, and they put a bunch of things on there, that's not my thing. I'm just saying. So this was nice. Uh, metal body, metal base, rubber tires. You have the Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. That goes on the back. Yeah, I kind of like to have these in, in, appear in a video. And of course, you know I like to do racing videos, so <laughs> it's probably what it would be. But who knows, I might open them up in another team transport. So this one, look, realistic decorations or paint job. So I got this one too. It's one of the Fast and the Furious. It was in this set, though. Hmm, I didn't see this. He didn't, if he had that, uh, I didn't notice. Of course, that's Subaru Impreza. Yeah, the, that one he probably got some money for. He probably probably didn't let that one go cheap. I'll save that for a second. Uh, 80 Dodge Macho. Same thing. Big rubber tires. Love them. Love the uh, treads on there. Metal body, metal base, rubber tires, premium models. This one is for Forza Motorsports. Same thing. So it's nice to get these. Uh, I, I, I don't mind buying them, but I didn't. The deal is, is that, you know, they're five... Uh, 49 in stores here in the U.S. And I passed, but uh, I didn't pay that. <laughs> he was getting rid of them, so I'll take them. 88 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. This is a beautiful color. I, I really, I seen it on the pigs. Sometimes I sit there and I look at it and I look at it and my wife gets mad. Are you going to buy it or not? I say, yeah, I'm going to pass. You know, the deal is that when you buy these cars and then you buy 20 of them, there's 100 bucks. Whereas the basic cars, you buy 20 and it's 20 bucks. I, I need to do a follow-up on the ice cream truck. And this is, this, is, this is what led me down that rabbit hole over there. Is that I needed, I wanted to buy these two. And he had one and somebody else had the other. And that's why I wound up buying those trucks over there. Anyways, uh, I'm doing the team transports on Truck and Tuesday. Here on Mr. Grooves. I... Passed on this one earlier because I really didn't know if you're going to have a display. I don't know how well that works in a display. So it's like I passed. I picked up the other one. When I found this on the pigs. B.R.E. Dotson. Found that on the pigs. This one. I found that on the pigs. And then they reissued it in that black hole box set. Anyway, that's another story. Here's another one. I passed on this. And by the way, none of these I paid... They were $12.99 plus tax in the stores. I did not pay that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe, maybe I got a deal. But he, it was time for him to get rid of them. I said, okay. Uh, I, did, I did not buy that Sakura Sprinter in the store. I was thinking about it in the past. Thinking about it in the past. I don't think I bought it. But I might have it here. And somebody, somebody one of my viewers... They want, uh, they know that I don't have this set. So they said, hey, I'll bring you some Ford GTs that you want. And it's like, uh, too late. I already got it at the show. So now I have this one. See those two? I did a review already on that for Truck and Tuesday. And I mentioned that I had an extra set because it was a, mis it was a mistake. I did not intend to have an ex extra set. It just happened. So I sold my extra set. Thank you to the person who bought it on eBay. This one, I don't think I have it because I'm not big... I'm not real fond of that model there, but I might have got it today for 10. Oops, I wasn't going to say the prices. Um, did I get it? Nah, apparently not. Oh, you know what? I grabbed, I asked him if he was, ah, what a fool. I messed up. I thought they were four different ones. I just now noticed that the top two are the same. 
I think I have that one. I think I have that one. I didn't have this one. So he just offered me a price on all four. And I said, sure. I just took it. I, I didn't look closely. Silly goose. So that's the uh, GMC Mattel's, the GMC van. I don't even think they use that casting anymore. Does it say GMC van on it? This is from mm, early 2000s, I think. I don't want to look. It's too much. Right here I see 1999. So it's about, oh, here we go. 1999. So yeah, these are 20 years old. That's kind of cool. They would take a Hot Wheels casting and then put a, some type of deco on there, right? Put their team colors on it. So they'd have four different ones. They had, uh, they didn't do just the GMC van. They did a lot of things. They did teed off. They did a bunch of cars. So of course, you know this one, Red Baron for the Hot Wheels Highway 35 World Race. So pick this one up. Pick this one up. Red Baron's definitely a nicer model. This one's a Pontiac. I forget what's the name of it. Pontiac Firebird. It's all right. Team Street Breed. That was Scorchers. You've probably seen it when I was talking. Oh, yeah. Check it out. She's uh, she's pretty nice. She She's the driver, I'm saying. So there's a Chevy Nomad. Wave Rippers. Pick it up in the package. Got a nice price. I'm not, I'm not saying. Oh, uh, you know what? This one, during this period, Mega Duty, it's not like I really need more Mega Duties. But during this period, I think it's 2008, I kind of was taking a break. And I did not know for sure if I had this color version. It looked pretty good. I thought, for the price, I'll pick it up. Now, one last thing. Oh, yeah. I'll talk about this again in the future. I did a review of Twin Mill, and I showed the Twin Mill generations, and I talked about the casting change for Twin Mill, how, how it has a plastic base, and people said, hey, the treasure hunt had a plastic base. Well, from now on, I got to make sure when I do my casting change videos, I need to say that this might not be the first casting change for that car because there may might have been something else in between. It's just it's getting to be too much. Uh, uh, I'm just talking about the casting change between this and that. It's not necessarily immediate, the first one. Uh, so I'm going to be very careful when I do my videos. This one, I'll, I'll have to disclaim it. So this one, I can't tell you. That one's going to be a story. If I tell you what the story is on that, then somebody else will do the story first. And, uh, oh, what? Mystery? Yeah, cat here. <laughs> I don't know. I checked. I don't think they opened the package. Should we find out right now? Collect all the 2007s. I forgot. Is it 2007 or 2008 that had the Bugatti V1? It does not look like it's been resealed. Yeah, for the price I paid, here we go. What's it going to be? No Bugatti Veyron. It's the one I don't like. The reason I don't like it, because see, see how this sticks out? Look how far it's sticking down. Sometimes this car drags. I showed you that in my mystery car video. And I picked these two up. I already have them, but it, it just was easier for me to pick them up now because uh, I'm basically going to, I plan on restarting Race Grooves Jr. And those are going to be used on Race Grooves Jr. So if you have a younger person in the house, that's what Race Grooves Jr. is going to be for. Don't forget, I plan to be there Sunday. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.